The member for Braddon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. The people of Braddon voted for more money for schools and hospitals, not banks. Instead of giving $17 billion to the big banks, why won't the Prime Minister support Labor's plan to invest $4.5 million in TASREACH health services, which would mean more Tasmanians can access vital health services? The Prime Minister has the call. Well, I, <clears throat> I, uh, I thank the honourable uh, member for a question, and uh, I note that uh, I think around uh, around 58 more uh, electors in Braddon voted for the Labor Party at the by-election than they had at the general election. So there was a uh, there was a very there was a very small swing for the Labor Party, but it was a uh, but uh, it wasn't Members a on my it left. wasn't a it wasn't a result that would uh, set by-election records, to say the least. But the honourable member is back, and we welcome her back. And the honourable member comes back knowing, knowing that the Tasmanian economy is doing better now, better now than it has for many years. And it's doing better now because of Will Hodgman's Liberal government. It's doing better now because of the pro-business policies that we have delivered and because one small and medium business after another in the electorate of Braddon is investing and employing. In fact, in the last monthly jobs figures, Tasmania saw an extra 2,100 new jobs. It was a very substantial increase in employment and, of course, it was a result of the encouragement that we are providing to business and investment. We are providing that encouragement and that is delivering the confidence that we're seeing across Tasmania and across the honourable member's electorate. And I have to say to the honourable member that the greatest threat to the jobs in her electorate would be the election of the party she is a member of to the federal government. Members on my left.